Welcome to my channel. This is Elizabeth O'Brien Art and today I thought I'd try to show you guys a how-to video on how to create a canvas support wall without damaging your wall. Recently I've been working on my traditional easel and it's in a room where the light is not as great and this is a wonderful room. thought I could move into here and shoot videos and be able to stand, sit, and enjoy the view. Um, so what I'm going to show you today is right behind you. Um, we're going to be using some plank wood and putting it on the wall but not really wrecking the walls. So in addition to hanging these things, we'll also be hanging these nails. And these little nails are great because if you line up your big canvas, you can plop it here, secure for painting. You can move it up. Let's say if you want to stand up versus sit down, you do it really low. It's great, nice and secure. And the, the final step, which um, some of you may be interested in, is so when you paint, you spatter. And it's a big problem if you're in a room that you can't wreck. So what I thought I would do is there was at Walmart just a white um, waterproof drop cloth. So the drop cloth is kind of made out of paper with a little poly in it, so it's it's not heavy or anything like that. So when I'm done, I'm going to pop, pop it through the hole so that I can protect the wall. I can drape it down onto the floor um, and those will be all protected. I can put it away when I'm done at the end of the day. So I thought that was a great solution and let's get to it. I'll explain what you will need. Okay, let's go through our supply list. We have our items here. We have a hammer. We have four one-inch brads. We have a clasp, metal clasp that you can just get at the hardware store. Four screws, a measuring tape, and then these are the one by eight foot or ten foot, ha half an inch wide by one inch this way. Then an electric screwdriver or a screwdriver is fine. And then this um, inexpensive jigsaw was just $20. Um, and that should be it. All right, we're gonna put in our nails. And the key is to kind of angle them a little bit. You can bend them later as well, but I like to try and angle them. And we're only gonna go in halfway. We don't wanna go through the half inch. We wanna have a little bit out. Most canvases are half an inch on the back side, so you don't wanna damage your canvas um, by having it poke through that. So if you at least clear half an inch, you should be fine. And if you do go too far, you can just pull it right back out. That's pretty good. Yeah. Just to be safe, not going through the back side, and that's less than half an inch. And then let's do the other ones. And as I said before, I measured and matched the exact height of these holes, so they'll match up perfectly with the, the ones that are up there. So I can paint straight. That's good. not so much. All right, there we go. We're Hello, gonna... we're back. Uh, I'm going to go over the next steps um, of what you need to do. You've got your wood, you've trimmed it down. Now we're ready to attach this to the wall. So you place your hardware in the middle and then your screw. Climb up to where the edge of the wall is where you want to put your nail in and with your screwdriver go ahead. Um, I'd recommend doing it where studs are. It's canvases aren't that heavy so it's probably fine. Um, I have wood on the wall there so I went 
actually into the wood. If you have like molding at the top, that might be a good spot. Um, those are easy to hide in the future if you're taking it down and you just fill it with some putty, um, if that's something you wanted to do. Um, and then this piece is where the second nail goes in, and this is the one that goes into the wall. So one nail into the wall. Okay, I wanted to give you a shot of how I attach these at the top. Um, it was kind of hard to screw drive and hold a camera because my tripod doesn't come up this high. But that's how it's done. Pretty simple, great. Um, I've added a, a nail right here. This is gonna be for a drop cloth that I'm gonna show you guys how that works in a little bit. And as we go down, you can see the nails. A uh, little dinged up on the wood, but you know, for the most part, it's pretty good. I could go over it with white if I wanted to. Another thing I wanted to show you was, I didn't go all the way to the floor, I just go to the baseboard. There's a little edge there, which allows it to rest on it, so it helps make it more secure. And welcome back. I'm here with my drop cloth. I have a four foot piece of the wood left over, and I'm just gonna wrap it at the top, around the top edge. could attach it, um, but I'll probably be replacing this drop cloth from time to time. So I thought this would be a nice temporary fix. I've added a couple more nails at the top just to rest this on. And we're just going to pull up that right up there. And voila! We've got our beautiful drop cloth all the way down to the floor and all the way up, so we're good to go. Um, as I mentioned before, we're gonna, sorry, that's the cat. We're going to poke the holes through like this, and then we can just take our canvas and hang it like that, and look at that, the wall completely protected. We're good to go. Thank you for watching our video today. This is Jasper, he's my little buddy. Maybe he'll be in future videos. I accidentally stepped on him during ours today. Sorry about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed learning about how to do a DIY wall for your canvas painting and hopefully you can add to your space and enjoy. Have a good day. Thank you, bye.